See, I've got my arborvitas, the rebar digging tools, some hand tools. I'm ready to make a topiary dog, the kind I don't have to feed, clean up after, and that won't keep the neighbors awake at night. A topiary dog made out of these two shrubs, arborvitas. What I'm going to do is plant one at an angle and drive a piece of rebar into the ground. We'll tie the arborvita to the, plant, to the rebar and then bend the rebar over this way. The plant, of course, will come with it. Then we'll plant another arborvita, again at a bit of an angle, drive another piece of rebar into the ground, tie that arborvita to it, bend it this way, and bend it again this way. Our plant, of course, will go with it, and we will eventually form what looks like a dog, or at least an animal. It could be any kind of an animal. I'm a dog lover, so it's going to be a dog. The first step is to plant the back legs. The tendency when you dig a hole with a round pointed shovel like this one is to have a smooth sided hole. I always finish it with a spade, chopping up the sides so that I have a rough surface on the side of the hole. That eliminates the potential for girdling and circling roots. Next, we set the plant in the hole. And of course, we want it at a bit of an angle, but this is the point where we have to find our dog's tail, and I think this is it right here. So we'll turn it this way, and then lean it over the way we want it, and drive our rebar in to hold it steady. And we want to drive the rebar on the side of the plant that we'll be bending it toward, in this case, the stomach of our dog. We want to drive it down into solid ground underneath the potting soil, so it's got to go in quite a ways. Now once we've properly planted the plant and watered it in, it's time to go through our sock drawer. Everybody seems to have one sock that doesn't match any of the others. And I've torn mine into strips, and I'm going to use that to tie this plant in several places so that when I bend the rebar, the plant goes with it. Now when we tie the plant to the rebar, we need to get the main stem, and we need to tie it in such a way that it doesn't girdle the plant. That's one of the reasons we're using a sock. It'll stretch as the plant grows. Now, once we've got the plant tied in several places to the rebar, it's time to bend it. This may take a little muscle, and we want to bend it down fairly low because the plant's kind of short. We've got the rebar on my left. It's over here, so as we bend it, it'll pull the arborvita with it. Yeah, some of these pieces will tie down with some more of our sock. But again, here's our tail. I purposely waited to plant the second plant because sometimes this is in the way of bending the back legs. Now you'll notice that the second plant, or the front legs, are also at an angle. Now I've driven in the rebar. By the way, use 3 8 inch rebar for this. It's easier to bend than anything bigger. And I've got it on the front side of the plant so that as I bend it, it pulls the plant with it. And we want to bend it down here where his shoulders would be. <sighs> There. The next step is to bend the rebar again to make what will become his muzzle. Now in order to do that, I've got to have a little more leverage. I could put a piece of pipe over this and bend it down, but I've got a little tool that's used for bending copper tubing. It's a plumber's tool, and I can put it on here this way and bend my muzzle down. <clears throat> there. He's starting to look like a dog. What we do next is we tie this bunch of foliage down to make his muzzle. We trim around this to make his ears. We've already got a tail. If we curl it over like this, it could be a chow chow. If we pull it straight back, it could be a pointer. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. We may need to tie some of this down, make his back a little fuller, but as you can see, he's really starting to look like a dog. A little trimming, and do it slowly. Do a little bit at a time. Once you clip it off, you can't put it back on. It's just like sending your dog to the groomer or getting a haircut. The last bit of pruning defines his ears, his muzzle, even his tail. And this dog will grow every year and we'll groom him every year. And we may even change his shape sometime in the future. We could take an ordinary copper wire like this one, 
twist it around his tail and then bend the tail straight back and turn him into a pointer. We've got a great looking guard dog, a topiary guard dog for your new house. Thank <laughs> you.